Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. This is the third time me trying to record this, so hopefully I can get through it well. Um, either my phone rings, or I can hear it in the background, my TV's too loud, or something. So today is going to be my project share for the Christmas tags I made and two of my embellishments. And I wanted to do a little pay it forward um, that happened to, to myself and my family. So we're going to talk about the pay it forward and then we'll get into the project share. So we were out and about this week and usually every Saturday is a family day. So the last couple of weekends, and I keep forgetting to tell you guys, I actually had a pay it forward moment. Um, we were out and Zachary got hungry and it was about lunchtime. So he's like, mom, there's some McDonald's. Can we just stop and get me a happy meal? I said, sure. So we stopped, got him a happy meal. And my husband, and I just got like, I don't know, like the daily $3 meal or whatever. And, uh, it come to like $12 and 10 cents. And there's a reason why I could remember that just because of the pay it forward. That's the whole thing. So we got to the window and the lady gives me the receipt. And I said, I haven't paid for it yet. And she goes, it's paid for. I said, no, I haven't paid for it. And she goes, the ladies in the SUV ahead of you paid for your lunch. Here's your receipt. Have a good day. And I looked at her, my mop dropped, and I looked at her and I go, are you serious? And she goes, I'm dead serious. They paid for your lunch. So I look up. And the lady is looking in her side mirror, smiling. And I just kind of mouth, thank you. Still shocked. She she pulls out away, and I'm sitting there. We're getting our field, my food, and my husband and I look at each other, and I'm like, did that just happen? I mean, because, like, it, you hear it happening all the time. You know, I don't do it through like a drive through but I've done it somewhat like through like at the Dollar Tree if a lady had something and she didn't have enough money I'd just go ahead and do it you know stuff like that or if you're at Walmart and somebody's a couple cents short you know you just I got it you know type thing yeah it was it took me about 30 minutes to get it through my head that it happened and I looked at my husband and I said, you realize I'm going to pay it forward. And he goes, I do. He goes, I really know that you're going to pay it forward. I haven't done it yet. I'm waiting for the right time and the right place to pay it forward. So <clears throat> hopefully it's soon. Um, and hopefully it is uh, very close. So... That is one thing that we're doing. All right, so let's get started here on the project share. All right, so here's the back of my tags. They are, um, I do have, they're on cardstock, and I have put, like, different colored paper. I have used, I don't know the paper pad because I bought this at, the, at a garage sale. There's no cover. I want to almost think it's Paper Studio, a very, very old Paper Studio pad, but I, I'm not, I can't guarantee that. So it has like all different, like these are snowmen's, um, Christmas trees. This is a whole pad and you're like, what do you do with this? It was my thought after I had bought it. So like every, whatever is on these are on different colors, like red, there are, there's some blue. I don't know if you guys could. And it's it's kind of really cute. I mean, like the snowman's, if it would actually just look, focus real quick. Yeah, th it is cute. I mean, Christmas trees, it's just different. And then it has the darker green. And then it has the darker red. Like this. Sorry, guys, I have other things. So, so yeah. So, this is the paper that I used as my base papers because I have to back it with like the car like a cardstock anyway so 
So here's what I did. <clears throat> and I did more of a traditional Christmas on the stuff that I'm making right now. Um, so here is one of my tags. This is my extra tag. Um, we were supposed to like make like four or something and I made nine. I don't know. <coughs> so <clears throat> I do apologize. I got a cough going on. It's not a big deal. It's just my morning ritual. So the paper pad come with a solid green. So that's what I did. And I cut it out, glued it on to the cardstock, punched out the joy in the joy paper and an oval. Um, then you, you'll see, I don't know if you can see it. You see the sparkle that is gold sickles, stickles, good. Can't even get it to work. I used the red paper on that pad also. I don't know why. There we go. Um, to make a banner, um, P, hello P, um, gifted me a banner maker. It was kind of cool to the, like to do the ends. So I've been playing with that. This and this is a sticker from this pad right here. It is the Recollect Recollections Kristen Noel. It's this year, one of this year's stickers. So I'm working with that. Um, I ended up punching out some snowflakes and doing some stickles and putting jimmies in them. They are propped up. This one's double propped and layered. And then I have red jimmies. So that is my extra one. I don't know if I'm going to put it in with it like her to and from. I have no idea yet. So here are my other ones. You guys can see I have stuff on the side. Don't look. Don't look. So here's my packaging. So I ended up, like you can see, I you can't really tell on this one, but this is like has the peace and the joy, and that's the 12 by 12 paper. So I was cutting it out and just kind of doing, trying to do the like assembly line type thing. And I'm really not good with that. I, I'll flat tell you. I'm the type that needs like one at a time. So, but there's four here. And each of them comes with a string that they can either tie it at the end or they can even pull it off. I did not tie it where they had to, to use it if they did not want to use it. So, the, and then this, I just did the bag topper using the same paper. Um, some, what is that? Like ribbon or trim from Walmart and two of the stickers from what are they soft spoken me and my big ideas that I got from my haul last last week so that's what I did on that one so this is one pack and here's my other pack now I was gonna do another little pack but I decided to do it this way so honestly this is the t bag topper but I put it sideways so I'll show you what I did with the bag topper I did the same thing I used the the trim I punched out some iridescent, iridescent snowflakes this is my new snowflake punch because I will never be able to get any more of the snowflakes my husband did these snowflakes for me and it hurt his hand he even tried the thing with tinfoil did not work they're over 20 years old he have, he chucked them he's like you're not keeping these so he chucked, chucked them on me so yeah all right so here we go so I did one with the red truck because that come in there so that's also a sticker from there and I did the same thing I just did it like opposite like you can see on this one this is the paper that you can't see on the other one that I, that I did a red circle a happy holidays I did sickle the candle so there's two oh. and then there there's the other two 
So them are that. And then the only other thing I am doing for this is I made some rosettes. But when I made these rosettes, I found these little buttons that are rounded. And when I put it in the middle, it reminded me of Rudolph. So I went ahead and made a couple rosettes. My silly reindeer Rudolph. Um, I had googly eyes. The googly eyes looked kind of weird. So I opted to punch a little circle. And then I cut my googly eyes. Yes, I did. I cut the googly eyes to get the black circle there. Because like the hole punch wasn't big enough. It looked even weirder. Um, I had to get help for from the antlers. If you guys would only have seen. Um, I had somebody help me. Make sure them look like their antlers because mine look like a pitchfork, to be totally honest. And then, I don't know, something was missing and I just thought he needed bangs. So that's what I did. I, th I was thinking about doing a sentiment, but then I thought, well, if the other person gets these, they can make their own, like, thing. Like sentiment or something goofy, you know, but I thought they were cute. So that is my project share for this morning. So I am packaging, packaging as I am going. Um, I had these go done for about a week and then it took these, let's see, didn't take me that long to make the, the tags, but packaging kind of took me a while. So I'm learning about myself that when I get done with one little project, package it. So then it's done, and then I just put it away in a spot where I know where it's at. So then when it comes time to ship all the stuff, guess what? It's already done. I just have to do the box. So there you have it. All right, guys. I will probably be on a little bit this afternoon for another project share. So until next time, guys, I hope you keep crafting. Please stay safe in whatever you're doing this week. Please, please, please stay safe. Until next time. Bye, guys.